So, I started playing Mafia Definitive Edition, and one of the first things that caught my attention were the reflections. I was impressed with them at first, but then when I started looking more closely at them, it really started to, well, intrigue me, I guess. Uh, I couldn't stop looking at them, and as I'll show you right here, they seem to be using some sort of real-time reflection system that's not a cube map. Um, it's not screen space. This isn't a screen space reflection because none of that shit right there is currently on the screen. So they're not pulling from any data that is currently being rendered. And it's not a cube map because you can see it's dynamic by because the space between the... Uh, buildings is increasing and decreasing as well as if I go down here you can see elements that appear and disappear something else is going on there it's rendering uh, a lower detailed version of uh, of the game world essentially it looks like being rendered uh, as a reflection that's kind of being replaced where kind of like the way screen space, space re reflections work so um, they mentioned on Digital Foundry something about the developers saying that ray tracing was involved, screen space, ray trace, screen space reflection, something along those lines. Uh, I, I don't see how screen space is really being used at all for these reflections. Um, and I'll show you as you drive around in the game on the back of this vehicle. You can see the environment just kind of updating as I drive around. <coughs> um, and if I point the camera downward, you'll see that the reflections are still maintaining uh, a lot of their detail, as well as being dynamic as before. I, I can drive underneath objects and, and uh, they'll show up uh, in the reflection, like, like these lanterns and just about everything except for dynamic vehicle, like vehicles and people, dynamic objects are being displayed in these reflections. And there is screen space that, that kicks in when you reach a certain angle. Uh, the camera will start using screen space data, but other than that, oh, see, you can see it kind of uh, like pop back and forth, but still, I mean, I'm not, I'm not using, I'm not showing any screen space data in that, and it's like that. that's the higher detail version of the model kicking in. And then when you drive off, it, it goes into an even mode. So there's different levels of detail within the reflection itself. It's, see, uh, I just did it again. Uh, very interesting stuff going on here. Um, and it makes me want to learn a little bit more about this uh, developer. Um, as far as I know, I haven't seen this technique used in any game on the PlayStation console uh, before, and it's really damned impressive. So good job, uh, Hangar 13. I want to learn more about <clears throat> your guys' uh, history. Uh, I, I don't even know if you made Mafia 3, but uh, the fact that this game also has real-time global illumination going on um, it's just really damned impressive so cool anyways yeah uh fuck bye